all right so let's explore the dashboard of this application as well of course there are too many features here so i might forget to show quite a lot of them but let's go through the overview so here feel free to visit monstack.com and then log in as admin so that you can um, check out the application while while we are building this application from scratch and i think that will really help you because sometimes even when i'm trying to explain it might be difficult for you to understand because you know it's uh, so much better when you can see it uh, visually that way you can actually come and um, get the the overview of the application for example uh, when we set up the basic project we will work on the sign in and sign up pages so it's easier for you to come and visit the the page have a look at it how the form items icons placeholder everything has been built here so based on that when we are coding it makes perfect sense you know what we are doing right so that i think will greatly help um, you to um, go through the application and the learning process will be so much straightforward right so let's try login as an admin and have a look at the dashboard now you can see here absolutely amazing dashboard similar to wordpress all right so admin has all these options now if you log in as author author will have some less options and for subscriber there will be very few options for example they can leave a comment manage the comment and that's pretty much it but for admin we have a lot of these options here all right so you can see it's a collapsible absolutely beautiful sidebar and if you are using it in a small browser it will automatically collapse as well all right so this is the dashboard we are showing the total numbers of posts and categories we have in our application and uh, the posts we have all these posts so we have total uh, 11 posts at the moment when you have more posts you will be able to of just type the name of the title and then you can filter out for example if i want to search the post with the title of bootcamp i can just search bootcamp and you can see it filters out like so that will be much easier when you have too many uh, posts later you can create a new post from here or you can click here you can edit or delete the post as well so go to edit i added some uh, um, code here and this is absolutely amazing text editor amazing because as you can see here when i double click it gives you this um, option to format your code uh, so you can embed a link you can even for faster writing you can just use slash and then type something in for example if you want to type h2 h2 and then you can just hit enter and write this is second heading so you can do that you can quickly type for example let's say you want to write table you just type table and then it comes up here all right you can say id name email so things are so much easier now there are so many options here as you can see we have the heading we have a to-do list um, ordered and unordered list quotes table you can put a code block a divider image you can embed image links and you even have this nice little notification bars as well uh, make let me write make sure to uh, check out our post space for example you can create something like that you can choose different type all right now if you hit save update obviously it will update we can try that later now you can see we have the categories and they are showing up here you can see the preview while you are writing the app um, the blog post you can have a look at the preview image you can change the image all right so this is absolutely beautiful feature of this application as well so you can upload one image or multiple images and you have access to the 
applications uh, media library as well so each image has been uploaded they are all available here just like in a wordpress cms so if you want you can just choose now if you want to change the image let's change that to this one so if you click here you can see it is selected you can preview um, categories as well you can delete or you can add seo you can just type and it comes up here filters out absolutely beautiful and if i hit update all right so it has been updated let's have a look that's the one you can see the image has been changed and we have this alert box as well all right and you can leave a comment as well um, this is incredible all right absolutely beautiful now let's go back let's continue to explore so that's how you can edit post you can delete post you can filter post or you can create a new post you can go from here or you can go from here create a new post so why don't we uh, give it a try creating a new post and let me go to my uh, one of my course so that i can copy some content ryan tango all right so let me check out one of my course for example let's say this one graphql i guess so you can type the title let's put title to this post and we're gonna write something here something here now obviously you can write um, list item you can do to do as well it's pretty cool i guess you can do something like that as well now obviously you can write list one two like that now sometimes if you might be copying text from other websites or from microsoft word so it gets really easy here for example you can see this is the list item here and now if i copy here it will detect the list item and it will auto format you can see absolutely amazing right now uh, let's leave it for now let's upload let's put some categories so let's say i want to use react graphql um, node so you can easily search and choose the categories feature image i can upload a new image or i can choose the existing one let me choose the existing one here i previously uploaded few so let me choose that okay beautiful now let's pop this great now this post has been published we can have a look at that bit later so that's absolutely amazing part of this um, application the post management blog post the categories here as an admin you will be able to create new categories you can update delete they are all here and the media all right so media you can add a new image or you can go to the library check out all the images that you have you can delete if you want to you can click or drag okay so multiple upload it will it supports multiple upload you can click or drag um, we have the comment section so you can see all the comments um, in the site and if you think some comments are not appropriate you can just delete or you can view it will take you to that post where the comment has been posted all right so that's pretty cool as well okay so you can filter the comments as well here then you have the user management section where you are able to create a new user all right so you can see this is yourself all the users you can edit you can delete as well you can edit and make them give them a different um, role for example this is admin now you can change that to something else as well okay so you can put some information you can create a user or you can update the existing user you can delete them so you have full control over the user management here so if you want to add a new user you put name email you can um, use this auto generated password or you can just enter your password manually 
you can give them the role and you can pick this uh, select this checkbox if you do and submit then this new user will receive an email about the account so this new user will receive the email and email and password so that they can log into the application okay so everything works the email will be sent as well it's pretty cool now profile so user the admin he will be able to update his profile he can choose profile image and we also have this customized feature so you can see this is the image that is being used in the front end so let me go to monstack.com so this is the image we have All right so if you want you can change here so you can control the home page how it looks from within your dashboard how good is that now let me change that from more stack to just more okay let me save come back here give it a refresh and you can see that changed now you want to change the image let me pick a different one let me try uh, this one okay let's hit save come here give a refresh and you can see we have a brand new image okay absolutely beautiful now let me put it back the way it was okay so this is a basic overview of how the admin dashboard looks like now you can try with the subscriber and author as well so if you want to log in as a subscriber they will have a bit less features obviously you can just copy from me as well now you can see author has a bit less options they can create posts manage um, the uploads but that's that's all now as a subscriber they will be able to just leave the comment not not much like okay, so if you copy and paste the password here so subscribers will have very limited option obviously all right so this is a production ready complete content management system using monster which you will be building in this course